And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Wednesday, the 16th of August, 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Market, see you leisure around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's check out the news so far. Of course, overnight, we saw US stocks closing lower, all major indices down as further news breaks on potential bank downgrade by the Fitch Rating Agency. And of course, the China slowdown narrative is gaining momentum after weak retail sales numbers came out yesterday. All in all, an unhappy market from the stock point of view. But we are seeing US futures holding just above neutral in the Asian session so far. But Asian markets are following that weak US lead with the ASX down around 1.4%. European futures are pointing to a slight lower open at this stage too. And even though the VIX was up yesterday, it still remains fairly near historically low levels. In the FX world, the US dollar index finished higher again, breaking the 200 EMA, which is neutral in Asia so far. As a result of this, gold breached that 200 EMA we talked about yesterday, and is testing that critical 1900 level after more selling. It seems to be just about holding on in Asia today. Copper also weakened to move through a key level at 370, although again, we are seeing some buying, which may actually be short covering in Asia today so far. Oil dropped for the third straight day after last week's highs. Bitcoin remains in a tight range of around about $1,000 between 29 and 30. And of course, we've still got the back end of US earnings season to digest. It's primarily the retail sector that is reporting at this stage. On the data front, we saw the Reserve Bank of New Zealand pause an interest rate at 5.5%. We've got UK CPI and PPI data out later this afternoon, along with Eurozone GDP, making for a busy afternoon. And of course, this evening, the major act is the FOMC minutes, which are released in the middle of the night. All makes for another busy day today and lots for the markets to digest. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. We did see some selling in the Australian dollar again versus the yen this morning, continuing yesterday's down move and has actually tested the S1 pivot, which was support a couple of days ago and back on the 9th of August. You can see there that bounce off around 93.60. Doesn't look as though there's a compelling up move on this, but if we do get some buying pressure coming back in, a little bit of risk on action, then we could see this not only move up to 94.25, but also through this and possibly up to 94.50. So that's one to keep an eye on in the currency markets. On the ASX, it's very slim pickings today, only a handful of stocks to the upside, but one of these is Polynovo. And you can see there we've got an interesting technical level at around about 170, which also correlates to the 200 EMA. We've got to move up to around about 185 on this stock in the fairly short term, which would be a rise of around about 8%. So certainly one to keep an eye on, making sure it closes above this 200 EMA. So maybe about 172 level would be of interest. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.